Thanks so much for joining us on our off-grid journey. Be sure to like, subscribe, and set up those notifications. And for more tutorials, podcasts, and updates, head over to offgridbnb.com. Okay, so here we are. It's only day three of the second bungalow inner construction, and we've already gotten so much done. We did both high walls, including the vent ports for the external vents, front and back. Uh, we've done two of the four walls that need to be mounted. We've run the electrical, uh, we've put up insulation on the walls and the ceiling. The underflooring insulation was already put in uh, a while ago. Uh, a lot has been done. So today we're going to finish off the walls. We're going to finish off the rear wall as well as the front wall. The front wall needs to have an outlet mounted uh, for a, a double box, mounted for uh, the light switch and the uh, G GFCI outlet that I'm going to put in there. So that's going to be a double wall box uh, and then a single outlet down here. The uh, electricity comes into the unit from the rear of the building here. It gets grounded just below that. and um, uh, the source is over in the living quarters where the facilities room is uh, for the uh, solar. The solar, I guess I haven't really talked about the solar, but I'll, I'll do that in another video. Um, anyway, the daisy chain starts here, goes up and around to the, um, the front right next to what will be uh, the um, breakfast nook. Uh, the breakfast nook table slash countertop slash sink and everything and the light will then further go up into the ceiling right above me right in the center of the room where we're uh where i will be mounting a three light three phase or three speed five blade ceiling fan and the only other thing that we're going to need to do after the walls have been stained or painted i haven't really decided what uh, is trimmed out and then the actual amenities will be built and of those there's really only two uh, the bed frame which is going to be a, a 10 inch thick really nice serta queen size foam mattress and a four foot by probably four foot corner nook with a functioning sink and we'll probably have a little coffee maker there or something like that or maybe like a single bread toaster or something like that something where folks can and prep stuff in the morning and then we'll be all done since this is just an update video at the very beginning of our build in the winter of 2023 2024 preceding our launch in i think april keep in mind that we have many more videos on the way each with an off-grid focus and hopefully that helps you along your way on your own off-grid journey thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video why not reach out you could be a podcast guest, get discounts on rentals, or even collaborate on a project. Send inquiries to offgridbnb at gmail.com.